is very, very famous for a stag python, especially for about 50 years ago. Unfortunately, you can't find too many of them dotted around the area now because the government wanted to clean up the hygiene laws and things, but if you experience it, it's definitely worth it. Stag python was a very, very hard thing to explain, and you kind of have to experience it for yourself, but it's definitely like a no-frills establishment. Just imagine a little shop tucked away from the market with a bunch of wooden tables, plastic chairs, some simple cutlery and bowls, but really, really, really good local food. It's very popular with the locals. It's not super, super polished or fancy, but it is definitely a hidden gem. But the biggest things about these places is to have the wok chi, which is basically just to have all of the fire and the magic from the wok and just cooking something very, very quickly, very, very fast, and just making the most of the natural ingredients. So we are just sat down right now with the locals. We're gonna all Order a few seafood dishes because that is their speciality and then I'm going to show you my first ever Dai Pai Dong experience in Hong Kong. Very very pleased to be here. Yes, let's chow down. just arrived and we may have accidentally over ordered as usual but it all looks so delicious we have some stir fried clams with black bean sauce we have some dry rice noodles stir fried with beef and bean sprouts which is one of my favorite things we have some sweet and sour ribs and it comes with green and red peppers chili onions and pineapple and we have the morning glory which is stir fried greens and it's got some chili some shrimp paste and some chili tofu sauce and then finally Finally, we have some manta shrimp, stir fried with salt and pepper and a lot of garlic and it all is so delicious. Right now I've got my small little bowl and inside I've got the noodles, it comes with chili sauce, and honestly, you can definitely tell with these dishes that they really, really focus on the wok and all of the power that comes from the wok because I've never had flavors like this before. You can definitely can't recreate that at home because you just don't have the firepower. It's all about the firepower, the wok power, and you can really, really taste it in a dish because it's so fresh, so flavorful, and it takes little to no time to prepare compared to at home. This one is very, very oily. It's got flat rice noodles. It's got some beef, bean sprouts, and it's so good with chili sauce, so yeah. Honestly, never tasted anything like this in at home or anywhere else. Really, really, the flavours have all come out. Savoury, it's meaty, it's oily in the best kind of way. Mm. Next up, I have the sweet and sour spare ribs. So it's lightly battered like this, golden, pretty fatty, um, and it comes with a sweet and sour sauce. Everyone here finds it so amusing as well that I'm vlogging. Mind the bones and the tendons and the spare rib, but other than that, very, very good, very, very fatty, but delicious. Next up, mantis shrimp. So this is what the mantis shrimp looks like. It's got so much salt and pepper and garlic, so it's really, really aromatic. It's crispy, and it takes a long time to kind of dismantle it, but the flavors is definitely worth it. Rip it all apart. And the skin inside is all flaky, but not too dry because it's just been very, very lightly fried. So, this is what it looks like. How flaky that is. It's so light and delicate. Amazing. And obviously we've got some beer to wash it down. So didn't realize how big it was going to be. I thought it was just gonna be a normal sized beer, so we ordered three because it's on a special offer, buy two and get one for free. Yeah. So bon appetit, it is absolutely delicious here and honestly Hong Kong's food at its best. It's just around the corner from Temple Street Market, delicious and this whole meal is going to come under 30 pounds. And considering how big the dishes are, how delicious it is, how quick it is to prepare, couldn't recommend it anymore. So I am going to go and tuck in now and finish this meal. now left the place feeling very very full and very very happy uh, <laughs> that place was absolutely amazing the whole bill came to 333 Hong Kong dollars 
which is about £33 for five dishes, three beers, absolutely insane. It was so delicious as well, really, really good. Probably one of the best meals I've had in Hong Kong. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more food, lifestyle and travel content. And let me know what dish you would have fancied having. Hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.